I've been seeing all these fried rice recipes and I can't help but notice they're all kind of missing the point. Fried rice isn't really a recipe. It's primarily a technique for reheating leftovers. I'm gonna show you the style that I've learned over many years and it's been indispensable for me because I sort of don't have a microwave. Oh, and creativity is encouraged. The whole point is to use up little bits and pieces of leftovers that wouldn't otherwise be enough to have a full meal. No two fried rice meals ever really need to be the same. So let's learn the technique with a super basic version. It's just rice, butter, salt, and pepper. Start with old rice from the fridge. I always prefer jasmine, but I've got leftover basmati from some takeout Indian food. No problem, all rice can be fried. I have a wok on high heat with enough oil to fry the rice but not enough to get super oily. My pan is well seasoned, so I don't need that much oil. Now add a single serving of rice. Using too much rice is the number one mistake most people make because it takes a lot of heat and a lot of skill to fry large amounts of rice. Add a good amount of salt, break it up, mix up the rice. Once the rice is heated and the grains get a little toasty, drop in a huge pat of butter, maybe like two tablespoons. Keep mixing. You want the butter to melt into the rice, but you don't want it brown. Brown butter has a different flavor profile to melted butter, and we're going for melted here. Initially, all the rice grains should have separated, but once you add the butter, the rice actually starts clumping back together. This is good. Now kill the heat, add some pepper, and lightly mix. Don't mix too much with the pepper because it changes the color. Now this alone will taste amazing. I mean, if you have not eaten homemade fried rice, you have not lived, my friend. But most of you are not here to learn how to reheat rice, so let's incorporate some leftovers and make this a meal worth the dish. Now we need some eggs. I've got leftover chicken and veggies that I roasted yesterday. I also have random barbecue wings from a Caribbean restaurant last week. There's even one piece of coconut shrimp, which is a cool surprise. Honestly, I usually prefer much simpler flavor combinations, but I'm trying to make a point here. Use what you got. We need a little sauce to help all these flavors meld together. Let's cut up some ginger and garlic for aromatics and mix some sugar, salt, and soy sauce. You don't need that much, but the sweetness from the sugar is key. Also cut up some green onions for the garnish. Now back to the stove more oil, then scramble up our eggs and put them aside. More oil again, and stir fry our mix-ins, just until heated through. And yes, more oil again. This time over medium heat, toss in the aromatics, then the sauce. Now recombine everything and mix it all up. That's pretty much the entire technique, and the restaurant stuff does not even compare. You can also use just the egg if you don't have any leftovers to incorporate. I often eat the basic fried rice by itself too because it tastes awesome and um, maybe I'm basic. Holy cow, that is how you make fried rice. So what do you think, that versus uh like the restaurant fried rice, what do you think? What would you rather have? This. By a lot or by a little bit? A lot. Nine and a half out of ten. It's really good. You know how I made that? You remember the Indian food we had? The rice from the Indian food? And then you remember the the wings we got? I mixed all that with the, the veggies from last night and the chicken from last night. <laughs> so you just combine restaurants, food? Yep. That's how you make fried rice, right? <laughs> Just leftovers? Mm-hmm.